So let's look at proper code organization in Azure Synapse Notebooks real quick. So I want all of my pipelines, no matter what the pipeline is doing, to use the same auditing and logging. For instance, in this notebook, what I'd like to do is when the thing is successful at the very end, right, no matter what I'm kind of doing, I want to call stop logging and say, hey, it succeeded, right? Or when there's an error, I want to say, hey, this there was an error here, so call the error message and it just finished. And what I want to be able to do is have all of the same data elements all of the time, which means I want to know the notebook or the pipeline that was running. I want to know the source system. I want to know the destination system. I want to know how long the job has taken. I want it like I want the same elements in every single pipeline notebook that I build. So what I do is I create a folder called utils and then I add a file here called logging utils. So this is a notebook where I put all of the methods and objects that I need in order to do proper logging. Now I'll talk about these methods and objects in a later video, but for right now, just understand that I'm defining some um, methods here. I'm taking a parameter and I'm doing something with it so that I can do auditing and logging in a central way. Now, in order to gain access to these methods and have the auditing and logging centralized in every notebook at the beginning of it, Let's go up to the top. I need a percent run and then the name of the folder and then the name of the notebook. So utils, logging utils. And I put that at the beginning of every single notebook. And that is very valuable. Okay. Now the next thing that you'll notice I do is because I want the same thing over and over again, what I do in logging utils is I create a class with the same um, properties on it. And then at the beginning of every pipeline, I set those properties. So I build that class and I set the properties that I want on it. So I will explain that in one more video because I want to tell you about JSON in the next video and why JSON serialization is so valuable. So stick around for the next video and you'll learn more about central logging with Azure Log Analytics and Azure Synapse. Thanks.